Dude, so bad. Roman Miser coming very, very soon. I'm gonna do nickel building that thing. Get some of this in there. I don't mess around, man. Oh, I'm between clubs on this, guys. I really am. I don't even know where to start. You read the title, you know what it is. Beautiful piece, man. So let's just talk about it in a minute. From what I know, <sighs> the M Addy. Probably the most sought after atomizer in vaping. I think that's safe to say. I think it's very safe to say, man. They're not easy to get. This is not something you can just go out, find, and buy. They are very rare, and they're even harder to get a hold of. Like, even if you get in the vicinity of one, to get one, hold one in your hands, is a chore in, it, in itself. And, uh, God, I got these cracked up hands right now. We're going gloves today, man. I'm going to have to. My hands are killing me, dude. They're so dry right now with the change of the weather. And they crack and they bleed like crazy. And you guys don't even see that. That hurts just putting on. <laughs> um, the M Addy by MEB or MEB Mods. Uh, Matt. Matt is the maker, Matt Brown. Um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link in the description the uh, interview uh, that I got all my information from. And I know, I know it's not that much. I reached out to him, and I reached out to him, and I know he's got to be a busy guy. And, and I told him the situation. This is on the loan from Dean from Coil Vapes. Um, this is his. He won it in a raffle, and honestly, I bet he was just as surprised to even get one. You know, um, you know, I think you got to be vouched for by like four people just to get in the group before he even lets you in, and even then, you're not guaranteed an M Addy. These are very exclusive, very rare. These aren't ever going to be mass produced. MEB is the initials of his name. So hence the name, it's the name of his father's name, it's the name of his father's father's name. So it's just kind of a thing, I believe they call it Meb uh, in the family. Um, but he had an idea, he had a vision of, of an Addy that's stupid easy to build. Super, super simple to build. As well as gives off great flavor um, and also used at a lower wattage. The idea turn into the Addy, it turned into his lifelong quest, keeping him up at nights, trying to figure this thing out, and, and while I reached out to him, and I'd, I'd really like to give this a really thorough, something like, uh, Coil Vapes feeling, link for Coil Vapes in the bottom, a very in-depth, not, not only on just the Addy, but I wanted to go a little in-depth on uh, him as well, and I understand probably why he is not a fan of clones at all. Being a USA modder, putting his heart and soul into this product, uh, I can't say I blame him at all. I, I can't. I can't blame him. So what I'm going to do, guys, is, is basically it's going to be a show and tell. I'm going to tell you what I know about it, but and also my experiences about it. I don't know. I mean, honestly, and I would like to sit here and be you know, hopeful and say, you could probably get one, but I'm not going to say that. I just, I don't know, man. It's the unicorn, guys. It's the unicorn. Honestly, I think it's a great topic for conversation down in the comments. Keep it cool, right? Don't ever be a dick. Like, there's no place for it here. There just isn't. Uh, but keep it cool, man, and, and maybe that'd be a really good discussion for you guys, and, and, and you know, your thoughts on that. But, you know, I understand he's a busy guy, but I definitely tried, and I definitely tried to reach out to him. Let's take it down. I'm going to show you the way it came to me from Dean. I don't know how it comes, you know, if you get one. Um, and we're just going to treat it 
I like the atomizer it is. You know, with products, with anything, I have no expectations for anything. You know? I just don't. Um, I don't. Ever. Um, you know, things sound cool and they, they look awesome, but I don't have any expectations. And sometimes you get blown away. And this is one of them. It's, it's a great vape. But you gotta build it right. There's a certain way I found to building this thing. And after reading this interview, and like I said, link in the description, you can really um, kind of read through and, and see where he's coming from. See, see what the whole process was for him to go behind this. To get behind the M Addy. Alright. Was that the Grim? That was the Grim Green, baby. He comes out. He's like, you're here in spirit. All right? Let's go. Let's take it down. Here we go. And special thanks to Dean for... Uh, let me borrow this guy. There we go. So this is how it came. Ziploc bag. And we'll pull this off. I'm going to dump everything out just like this. Inside the bag, there's some parts. There is some 510 from 510 connectors, a couple different whiteboard drip tips. I'll dump those out as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure these didn't come with it. Uh, MEBmods.com. I'll put that link down there too. Straighten you up here. And uh, that's where they sell all this stuff. So, you know, whiteboard drip tip here. And I'm going to go ahead and show this off. Um, fairly wide bore, definitely wider than your standard, you know, standard wide 510 drip tip here. And dual o ring, dual o ring, beautiful man. What's kind of cool about it is it kind of goes in and then down, and then on the stainless one, it just goes straight down. So conical shape right here at the bottom really helps promote smoothness of draw as well as flavor. Set that on the side. Here's a 510 adapter. Same thing. Same thing. We're going dual o-ring here. Obviously made of Ultim. There you go. I got that copperish look to it. It's gorgeous. Now, 22 millimeters inner diameter. I believe it's got like an inner 8 millimeter chamber. Um, 510 center pin is type 2 D hardness gold over C360 brass, and it's completely sealed from the deck. Completely sealed from it. The drip tip adapter is Ultum, and all their parts are stainless steel or gold over stainless. The height is 16.5 millimeters. Dual and single airflow capable. That's one. Two, airflow is 3.2 millimeter equivalent max each slot. And we're going to get really in depth about this airflow. Overbuilt deck with square peak insulators. The deck is designed around common vertical and horizontal builds. Chamber size is approximate 17.5 millimeter inner diameter by 8 millimeters tall. Pretty tiny. And it is sexy, man. So we already kind of went through this. We've already kind of went through this. We're going to go ahead and set that off to the side. And I actually prefer this. The 510 drip tip. Let me pull this out. Got to kind of twist it because everything is so snug in here. As a matter of fact, some of the tolerances on the surfaces on this dripper are so tight. If it's .001 off at all, it will not go together. Extremely precise, like precise precision if you will. But this is the way I like it. I like this little drip tip stuffed right in there. Boom. And I really like the design on this drip tip, how the spacing between the O-rings is. I really like that a lot. But you gotta twist it, and it just pops in. And really, I like to give it a couple twists back and forth to seat it down so there's no gap in there. There you go. 
I'm gonna leave that aside. I'm gonna put these all back in the bag here. Again, this isn't mine. This is on loan from Dino. Dean. Here we are right here. Looking at the design of this. With the airflow. You see this two-piece barrel. The kind of notch at the top there. Not sexy, man. Gorgeous. Let's pop the top on this. First things first is this top piece right here. You know, this isn't a place where you want to just rip it, but you know, rip it right off. Just give it a nice little twist. There you go. It pops right off. There is a slight color difference between this piece and this piece here. That's be simply because they were made from two different pieces of metal, guys. One thing I want to point out, I'm going to get really nice and close here, as close as I can. There we go. Now, when you look at that airflow, do you see how it's kind of cut in on the sides? Notice that? It almost steps in. When it goes on to here, this, is on, this has it as well. And there we go. This has it as well, as you can see. When they both go on, a couple twists, sits right on there beautifully, and you line it up just right, wide open, they, it creates almost like a little step in the airflow hole. There you go. See that? It almost steps it down. Do you see that now? Yeah, you got a good look at that. It almost steps it down. Whatever that does, I'm no engineer, man. Whatever that does, it works. And I believe that this airflow design really, really makes the Amati shine, dude. I don't know what it is about that step down. What's cool about this, check this out. Let's say we adjust it, right? Remember, everything's kind of cut in on the sides there. If I twist it and I close off that airflow, it remains the same because everything's notched. It's just duplicating the wide open. See that? Isn't that nice? So when you adjust it, it's always going to be notched in. Beautiful draw on this thing. Flavor machine. Bring it down and we're gonna go ahead and talk, we pretty much covered all the airflow I wanna talk about on that. I've already got a good look at that. I'm gonna need a tenderfoot to pull this off. On it. Already on the base, at least on this unit, a little loose, a little loose for my liking. I like stuff really super, super tight, but you know, as far as leaking goes, none. Um, you know, none is unless it was my fault and I over dripped in it. Singular dual airflow, all the same thing. Twist that off. Beautiful, man. I mean, it's spotless, guys. It really is spotless. Two O-rings holding the top piece on. I want you to get a good look at this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put the top cap. I'm gonna leave it off. I'm gonna leave it off. On to the star of the show, right? Always the star is the deck, and I think this is the main deal here. Hopefully we can get her to focus a little bit. No? Maybe? Maybe a little? There we go. I'll have to bring it up to it. And there it is. I know, it's crazy. Now you're noticing some plates on the ground as well as the positive. This almost Y post right here. The step down negative, all one piece on the deck here. 
And those plates don't move for nothing. I mean, they move just a little bit, but because they kind of stepped it right there, grab a pointer. But because they stepped it right there, that's the reason this doesn't move. As you can see, it lifts up. Your wire gets trapped underneath that. Just like that. Also, it gets trapped underneath the positive. And you don't want to unscrew these very much. You don't. They're very short, and they, you, they definitely can fall out and be lost very easily. Um, one thing I want to show you, I'm going to tighten on this one a little tighter. It's about to fall out, I think. Check out the positive post here. You're going to see a couple notches on the bottom. Can you see that? Do you see those two notches? Both sides? Right underneath the plate? That comes in handy so much when you're putting your build in. You know, you bring in your coils, and all you do is just touch that little notch, and the plate lifts up for you. So the plate is the perfect size to the point of how it sits in the post. Okay? As it has how it sits inside of the post itself, and how tight it is around the screw. It just flops up. Just bleep, flops right up. And obviously, square. Everything kind of pretty much pushing against each other here. It's not going to spin. It's just not. And it's laser straight. Nice deep well for the size of the Eddy. Plenty deep well. Gold, 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 man. Going gold. Dual on rings. Again, we kind of covered the 510 pin, which is protruding quite a bit. I mean, hybrids, whatever, you know. No problem. There's the engraving now. The laser engraving is what I'm assuming this is. Is definitely chipping or starting to really show its wear. 153. As you can see here, it's kind of fading off. One more look, man. Gonna give you everything of this. You know, and you can buy all the accessories on the site, MEB Mods, but to get the Addy itself is definitely the trick, man. It's tough. It's tough to do. Let's build it. Let's build it. One last look. Let's build it, man. Stoked. Grab tender. 26 gauge, Nichrome 80, 332nd bit. Pretty good right there, isn't it? Yep. 332nd bit. Yeah, I'm happy with that. 332nd bit for the fifth time, right? <laughs> Got a nice long piece here. I'm going to do nine wraps per side. I just dropped the wire. Nine wraps per. Make sure you get plenty of wire. Got one, want some lead here. Let's do it. Micro coil. Nine wraps. Yeah, it's designed to be used at lower wattages. I'm probably using about 15 watts. Kind of my sweet spot for this one. Nine wraps. Nice. Do it again. Nice and tight. Good. Happy with that. Alright, let's slide it on in. Again, the design of this thing was meant to be built super easy. A cinch to build. Pop that in just like that. This one should be loosened up enough for it to go under. But I think it, yep, tighten it back up. So hopefully you can see that the plate just kind of flips up for you. So spacing, I'm going to leave it at this angle here so I can show you. 
I want to get fairly close to that airflow hole, so I'm going to leave some space in it, about like that. And I'm going to tighten down the ground. That's it. That's all you need. Flat on flat. Everything should be flat on flat. But I want you to notice something. When I pull out my tool, if you have to rewind to do it, nothing moved. Nothing moved. Hopefully you saw that. Nothing. It's... <laughs> I'm going to clip this. And I'm also going to clip this one. And I barely tighten it down because with flat on flat, you don't need to. I could probably put this in. Yeah, I'm going to put my tool in. Tool in. Trying to keep it all in the shot here. That's not going to work. Flip that around. I want the longer one to go in first. Make sure you're all in. Yep, there we go. And again, emphasis on ease of build here. And you can see it's just like the perfect, my god, it's just crazy to build. It really is. It's, it's super simple. And it's like, it's not because it's super rare or the fact that, you know, they're hard to get. Watch this. <laughs> That's it. Also, I don't need to put any tools in here. I can just tighten this down. And everything just stays where it should. That's it. That's it. And come in here. This one. And that's the build, man. Pretty basic. Pretty basic. But by design, everything sits pretty much even. Look at that. Isn't that wild? Let's straighten everything out. I'm going to center everything up. Pop in the tool. And I'm just going to put it gently towards the center. Just like that. I don't need to push super hard or anything. Just nice and easy. Take my time. Now I wish I could say, you know, go grab one of these, but I just can't. Spacing's pretty good on it. Matter of fact, I'm super happy with that. I may have over-centered one of them, but I'm going to live with that. Let's measure it. Easy. Very easy to build. Look at the tenderfoot. So, right now it's Nichrome, 0.22, so after we fire it, it's definitely going to jump. That's what we're going to do now. Throw it on your device of your choice. This one's a Dovepo Guardian 1.5, I'm going to be doing a review on this one. Keep that just like that, ceramic tweezers. And you notice I didn't really look as far as... Um, height goes on these coils, right? You guys know how I am about that. You don't even need to look. You don't even need to look, man. It's crazy. Let's go. So, remember the tricks. You know, we're going to strum it out and uh, make sure it's on. And I'm just going to pulse it. Take my time. There we go. You can kind of see both of them. This one's kind of discoloring. Once I see the discoloring, because this wire is so small and brittle, fairly brittle, I'm going to go ahead and let it sit there and cool down because I really want it to hold its shape here. And then I'm going to hit it again. Nudge, nudge. And I'm really babying it, as you can see here. Just 
about there. Take your time on these. Pretty happy with that. Everything seems nice and flat. Yes, it is. Mm, not bad. I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna stick with that. The reason I'm gonna stick with that is for flavor. Yeah, that should be pretty. God, that one. That one. This one's acting very violent. Good. I'm taking it, man. I'm taking it. Total resistance is coming out on the mod at 0.36 right now. We're going to go ahead and let it rest um, while we take it off and wick it. And I'll give you that exact resistance in a minute. So as you can see, as far as building this thing, it couldn't be easier, right? It could not be any easier. Throw it on. Uh, as far as the threading goes on the 510, it's incredibly smooth. So there it is. There's the build. It's wicked. I'm gonna leave it just like this. Take off the gloves. They feel a lot better after they've been in those gloves, man. So I got some Muji here. And cuff a nice piece. Nothing too big. have to go a little smaller on that cotton. Yeah, I'm going to take this just a little smaller here. This is the build I like in the Amati. If I were to own one, this would be it. This would be the build I would use in it. And I'd rock it at about 15 watts at the most. So literally, low wattage. Let's wick it up. I put the notch in the cotton just like you guys all know about. And those of you that don't, I'll just show you right now what that is. And all it does is just help you give, you know, you just cut a little like that. And it just kind of helps you get a good point. Let's wick it in. Point in. Feel resistance, I'm gonna tug on from this side. I'm going to tug this way and this way simultaneously as I pull through smoothly. One motion. It's good. Some puffy. There we go. Let's do that again. And I want the wicking just, just slightly loose. That's just where I like it in this Addy. Pop this in. Pull it snug. Just like that. Just sitting in the coil. Just a little play. And we're going to clip it. About five mils off the deck, I'd say. Try to keep it cotton even. There we go. So we got that. Now it's as simple as tucking it in. Each, each piece of cotton here, right, four pieces, each one gets their own corner. So we're just going to take it, run it up, pop it in. Pull it back. That simple. Same thing on this side. Keep them shot, hopefully. Up and in. And it just swallows. And I mean, just gulps up that cotton, man. It really does. Make sure you got the pocket in there still, just like that. That's all we're looking for, man. Couldn't be easier. No, nothing weird. You know, it's, it's built for simplicity. And literally, like, it's so straightforward it really is I mean design wise it's complex it's it's 
It's hard to explain until you actually hold one. But when you build it, it's just something like... It, it, it's just out of this world, man. Got that done. So we're going to put on the top section now. The middle barrel. Line up the airflow holes right in front and just snap it on down. I think we're pretty good there. Just like that. There it is. There it is. The, the posts themselves, I've noticed, lines up the build um, to the exact height it needs to be. I like my airflow holes to be either dead on or just under it, my coils. And, uh, bam. Dead on. I mean, dead on. And I'm really happy with that. Now, top section here. Again, give it a nice little spin. Almost like you're screwing it on. Finish up around the airflow hole. There you go. Yeah, if you own one of these, you're proud, man. And you should be. You should be. Beautiful. And it's finished off with this. Screw it on your device, man. I'm going to take it back up top, and I'll show you just kind of the look of it. Pop off that top here. That's it. It's as simple as that. Simple as that, dude. What do you think? Crazy, right? When you're trapping the wires, it's literally like a... You're done. Like... There's no, you know, like with most. Have you ever sat there and just really tightened down something? You're like, what is taking so long? It's it's just mind blowing when it's done right. It's effortless. <laughs> so I have it here. I had some juice. Concoction here. I guess I thought I had some coil vapes out here. Hmm. Bam! I got some gym truffle shuffle, baby. Check that out. I'll put a link straight to truffle shuffle. Put some juice on it, just like everything else. The color of this juice is crazy. Just like that. It's tiny. Tiny. Look at that thing. Isn't that gorgeous, though? Like, my God, man. It's just beautiful, dude. 15 watts might be too much. Let's see. I can't explain it. When I first got it... One more, one sec. When I first got this, what did I do? I went tiger builds. I went crazy. And I'm going on my mic. You know, I'm not getting the best vape out of this. You know, I'm just not. After realizing what it was, the way it was designed, I had to rethink everything. And I went back to the very, very basics of building. Tight coils, tight circumference, nice spacing, adjustment height adjustment of the coils matters and I took it to its most 
simplest form of building, which is the kind of building I love most. The simplest, straightforward kind works the best for me, you know? And that's what I did. And this is the build I love in this thing. Regulated device, not mechanical, just a regulated device, 15 watts, 15 and lower. That's it, man. Now, you're probably looking at this drip tip going, man, you're going to get a burnt lip on this thing. With this low wattage, you can sit here and hit it forever, and for some reason, it just never gets hot, hot. And I don't think it's because of the thickness of the walls on the barrel. Uh, and so does Dean. Dean. Dean was telling me that. And he says, hey, he, it's weird. It's very weird. As you can see, it does not slack in any way, shape, or form. You know, as far as cloud production or whatever, whatever you want to call that, you know, like, I mean, it's, I mean, it lobs, dude, it lobs, you could go in on this if you really wanted to, there's plenty of airflow, but wide open, with that stepped airflow, you can probably hear it, listen, and it's instantaneous, when you take a draw off of it, it's 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 hard to describe. It's just boom! It's just right there, you know. Matt, if you ever end up watching this, dude, I get where you're coming from, man. I do. I get where you're coming from. I do. If you read the interview, I think you will too, guys. I really do. I really. It's a good read. The vaping snob uh, did an interview with him, and it's, I think it's pretty old. I think, but um. And he just kind of talks about why he did it and why he got into it. And I think it speaks for itself. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to, to speak with him on a you know on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I just kind of pick his brain a little bit, and I and I get that, dude. I do. But if you're watching this, man, it's a beautiful piece. It really is. You know, <laughs> it really is. It's gorgeous, man. Classy. It's so classy. I wish, and I only pray that I can get my hands on one. So does Nick, man. Nick from Riverwalk. He wants one bad too. Keep it simple. If you got an M Addy, and I'm, I, I, you know, I'm sure there's some M Addy owners out there that that may watch this. There's not many, very many videos on this guy. Uh, can probably agree with me on that. Simple, simplistic, simple stuff in this thing, man. Just shines. You would never imagine a coil like this would just blow you away flavor-wise. You would never imagine. That's a good way to describe it, I think. Jam. Yum. Truffle shuffle. Unreal. Don't know what else I can really say about it. I don't. I think I gave it a good showing, man. You know, I showed you every piece of this sucker. Really did. I hope you got a really good look at every piece of it. Um, you know, this one's going to be tough to send back to old Dean. But it's coming, baby. It's coming back home to you. I want to thank you, Dean, for letting me borrow this. Uh, to review it. It's been a total blast using it. And, uh... It really is. Uh, again, discussion thread in the bottom down down below. Be nice to each other. Be kind to each other. But I'm curious what you guys think. I really am. The exclusivity of it. Um, but again, uh, no expectations for this, and I was blown away by it. It's a great piece. If you are an M Addy owner. And you're looking for uh, a, like a different style of drip tip. Mink Machine actually makes some really cool aftermarket tips for this. Um, and I, I feel like I need to say that uh, Matt has no correlation with Mink Machine and the making of the tips. This is just something that Trey does on the side. And he's made some, some pretty cool looking tips for this. I'll put a link in the description for you guys out there that own one to go check those out as well. Hopefully I can remember all these links, man. <laughs> No description today. I'm just going to put a bunch of links down there, dude. Go check them out. Click on one. <laughs> Thank you 
so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at tjvapingreviews at aol.com or simply comment down below, dude. Shout out to Coil Vapes and Dean. Shout out to each and every one of you guys. Um, thank you for everything, man. Thank you. I plan on doing a best of the year show this year. Sometime in December, I'm going to do a highlight of products that I've used over the year. The highlights, the things I made in the high Some things made to review and some things didn't. And I'm going to be talking about those things for sure. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Really relaxed. It's going to be a blast, dude. Let's end this. In classic form, dude. This thing? Class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I got it.